280,000 cars have been driving daily on the new Bay Bridge, while underneath, workers approach by water the eastern pier of the suspension span. Those American Bridge Fluor workers have completed a permanent fix to 32 broken rods. These news crews are headed to the pier to document the completed repair. I hope nobody's afraid of heights. He is. 96 rods were placed under tension in March of 2013, and 32 of them broke. This pier has seismic devices called bearings, which allow the bridge to move slightly during an earthquake, and shear keys, which prevent the bridge from moving too much. The broken rods had attached the shear keys to the bridge, and since the 9 to 17 foot long rods were embedded in concrete, they couldn't be replaced. Some of the world's top engineers, along with the Federal Highway Administration's approval, devised an elaborate $25 million saddle system that would cover the base of the shear keys, buttressed by an extensive external steel tendon system that would be encased in new concrete. That system was designed to meet or even exceed the seismic safety of the original design. It is now done. I'm, I'm trying to clear them out for you as soon as I can. Okay. Yeah, so, the, so that's the rule from the contractor. There's no filming of workers. Okay. The Federal Highway Administration had also approved locking down the bearings with these temporary shims until the new saddle system was completed. That allowed the bridge to open on Labor Day weekend. Those shims have been removed. You can't see the tendons. They're encased in this concrete blister. Uh, but when the uh, tendons were tensioned, that provided the exact same clamping force that the bolts were supposed to provide. And that allowed us to achieve permanent seismic safety. Uh, if there was a major seismic event now, um, all of these seismic devices, the shear keys and the bearings, would work exactly as they were supposed to work. The bearings provide movement. You want to have movement in the, in, the, in the event of an earthquake, you want to move with an earthquake. The shear keys make sure that the bearings do not move too much. Um, and this will work exactly as, a, as it was designed to work because the steel saddles and the steel tendons running inside the saddles provide that exact same clamping force that the bolts were supposed to provide. Minor follow-up work will continue for a few months. Rod heads will be capped, the saddles will be painted, and finally the scaffolding and this elevator access to the repair site will be removed. A new permanent elevator that rises on the northern side of the self-anchored suspension tower will be completed in 2014. On the New Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.